this is your reading for <coughs> the 23rd of uh, March to the 29th, 2020. And um, uh, I'm doing a nine card spread, but I'm only using the vertical rows, past, present and future energy. Um, the possibility remember this is a general reading but you are, remain in your strength and you hold the key to the present and the future to change it and i'm also using the goddess cards the answer of the angels and the inspiring cards from wayne dwyer and the bottom of the deck now this is what an extensive reading looks like because you can not only read the vertical lines but you can read also the horizontal lines the cross and the diamond and the four corners you can get a lot of answers from just this little reading and this spread it's my favorite spread and i've been using it for years I can never get used to the Celtic cross, but that's also a good spread. Um, but I find you get more information from this than from the Celtic cross. So um, if you would like an extended reading, you'll find all the information below the video in the description box. And please become a member. Click on the membership, subscribe and like and click the bell. Then you'll be notified when I go live. I go live on Monday and Friday in the English language and on Wednesday in Dutch. So if you can speak Dutch, then please join us uh, on the uh, Wednesday night. There's also a series going on with a Dutch uh, Dutch witch. We are discussing the deck, uh, the witch's or uh, oracle uh, by Marla Brooks. And what is the difference between a witch, a homeopathist or an aromatherapist or anybody that uses incantations, uh, gems like stones, healing stones. They carry uh, energy and they help to support and heal us. And also color therapy. I use that as well. And I work with the angels and the chakras as I'm also a Reiki master. And so these kind of things will be discussed with the uh, original true Dutch witch and she's helping me to clarify some things and so far there's been a lot of interest so please join us uh, every Wednesday there will be a new episode loaded up and um, especially in this time of uh, at this time at the moment with everything everybody locked down and being at home it might be something that you enjoy to uh, look at and perhaps you might get uh, ideas or other um, uh, motivation to to dive deeper into the tarot, the lenamon or uh, oils or therapies, aromatherapy. You might uh, want to go and see. Once everything is finished with the lockdown, then you can do an aromatherapy or a, uh, a reflexology. Uh, therapy. So let's get started with the reading. Um, th uh, this is, we are also at the end of our first quarter, so I'm taking this reading as well as uh, uh, the, f the first quarter. Does this reading resonate with any of the other readings in the last three months? So I'm dating the past back to the 1st of January, so this could be January, February, March, and also this week's reading. So see what resonates with you. If it doesn't resonate, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And remember, we've just come into spring and we've also got into come into an other zodiac sign. And that is Aries. So the energy around us is fiery and action. So how can you take action? Keep that question in your mind. Well, let's see what this reading says for you. First of all, we say uh, we've got the, I mean, we don't say we've got the card clocks, the time. Time is of essence. Perhaps it's time for you to change. Time to hurry up to meet a deadline. Perhaps time for you means taking time out, 
take it easy with family and friends take your time and recuperate to contemplate meditate evaluate is this where you want to be uh, are you doing what you want to do or this could be in the past as well and this energy could still be lingering at the moment although it is in the past row this energy could still be lingering here now because of uh, the situation in the world now how are you going to use time perhaps uh, if, it, if you take it as the weekly reading or a meaning from the week which you can really do then perhaps what does time mean to you how do you spend your time would you like to have more peaceful time or do you like everything to be always in a rush? Well, um, perhaps you might have received a gift and had luck in the, uh, in the past. Or this could be also on Monday the 23rd. Perhaps you might receive a gift and luck is on your side. Perhaps you might receive this bunch of flowers or this gift from a man as we have the man here. This is a different man than this man. This man is loving, nurturing, uh, he's um, honest and he's, he's bare, he opens everything, he's got nothing to hi hi hide. He's focused on what he wants he's definitely got a determined face now i know that's in the future but um since you've got the man at the beginning perhaps you have had a gentle loving uh man this could be a cancer scorpio or a pisces as it's the also the ace of hearts but it could be any man but it's a man waiting for love waiting for recognition um, perhaps you might meet a man or, or just have met a man um, in the last couple of months and this relationship is loving and nurturing this man is a little bit more gentler and this one is more of the action and he's got a bare chest because he's got nothing to hide he's more direct but they can both be uh, a water sign he's a very sensitive man anyway what is above you is the sun the sun means that um, it is just come in or is going to come in it's hanging above your head so you could also see this line as the future okay um, the sun means you might have met a Leo uh, because the sun stands for Leo you might be moving home you might uh, go on holiday well I don't think anybody is on holiday at the moment um, but you want to go on holiday but there will be delation, delays because of the cross I'll tell you in a minute why perhaps you're finding out you're pregnant or if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions perhaps you might want a baby from this man because this is also a triangle this is how I would look at it in an extensive reading you are in the spotlight some definitely a man has an eye on you whether you're a man or a woman could be recognition promotion in a job or going up a next level in a relationship and remember if you are a man then there could be a lady which could be a career lady with more of a, a business-like attitude the masculine side because we've all got the masculine and feminine this card does uh, say security 31 becomes a 4 so this relationship will be built on a proper foundation so don't have any doubts because the doubt card is lying underneath it so you are in the spotlight the spotlight also illuminates so that means that something is being illuminated and you need to do more research perhaps you doubt this man because this man does not have a bare chest these could be two different men or this could be a man that was gentle and waiting for love and he wanted clarity so now he's going to he's bearing his chest he's telling you the truth of what he wants perhaps he might suggest marriage or living together 
I know it won't be resonating for all of you, so if it doesn't, then have a look at the moon sign and your rising sign. In the middle of the spread, I use this as the querent card, so I would say uh, you might be depressed or too much in your head. You can't make a decision or you can't make a choice. Well, that is quite evident because we've got two men here. Perhaps there are two in the picture perhaps somebody from the past and a new one and you don't know what to do you have to make that choice you have to have faith in yourself you have to trust yourself in order to make that decision others do as well have faith that which choice you make is the right choice your wish is coming true your goal is coming true perhaps your goal is getting married because this is lying above you and this is lying underneath you this is your foundation like i said this foundation will be a secure foundation you've been navigating and aiming for this because this is what you wanted foremost uh, f uh this man is honest and open and he will tell you what he wishes and he uh, he is definitely a caring and nurturing man uh, this is the line of the future so that is the possibility you might meet another man and you might have to make choices you see um, between two men or two um, ladies if you are a man you might have to make a choice between two ladies career wise perhaps you might have met these ladies at work you can work well in groups perhaps you might work with both of them in a group now make make sure that you uh, show your boundaries and you know your boundaries there is luck in work there's prosperity like I said somebody might have um, an eye on you this could be a Leo this could be uh, uh, an employer so you might be see, uh, getting a promotion okay mm -hmm. or you might even if you're a lady you might even get a promotion so that you'll be in charge and you'll have to have the attributes of a man steadfastness quick quick thinking uh, and delegating like a man on the work floor you have a friend here this could be a new friend or this could be um, uh, a friend and you're getting an other perspective on this friend you can see that you have choices perhaps he was waiting for love and he was soft and romantic and now he knows what he wants perhaps now you can see how strong he is and how defensive he can be because he also wears the mark of Mars and that's the planet uh, of war and defense he is a strong friend he's loyal and trustworthy and luck is on your side boom 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 you've got positive cards my darling so take your time in that case uh, learn from the past perhaps you didn't take your time in the past and went head over heels in love for a man and um, this didn't do you any good because you uh, you most probably uh, had a cross to bear that's what I'm getting uh, to hear and you've learned from the past so you don't want any crosses to bear so learn from the past and carry on in the future by taking it steady know your boundaries let the, him know your boundaries he is trustworthy and loyal there's new beginnings because you have the sun and you've got the aces look at the aces okay you've also got um, the uh, the 10 here which becomes a 1 I'm not going into the sign but you in this one I will you've got the king of pentacles so you've got the meters touch so get out of your comfort zone because you've got the house I know you feel protected safe 
and secure in a house but don't isolate yourself you are apparently attractive you've got 10 men uh, two men reading uh, two men in the reading and the king of pentacles so you know how to invest if you are a lady you are the king of pentacles you know how to invest and work so come out of your comfort zone and don't always be working 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 and career orientated be more playful be let your inner child shine be the sunshine because somebody wants you and sees you so wake up and that is typical leo you are the leo this could be you okay this could be you you're too much in your head you can't decide because if you look at the picture of a, a lion he's lying there underneath the palm trees or underneath the bushes and letting the women do the work because that's what uh, a lion and his li lioness nesses do okay so get up and come into action to fulfill your wish or goal and you have Mao, Mao, the Mother Earth, and Mother Earth. You are being called upon to be uh, environmental aware. Be aware of the uh, environment and Mother Earth. Well, this could be the Empress as well, Mao, uh, fertility. Um, birth 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 you might want to start a family so be environmental friendly respect mother earth return what you give uh, be more helpful to others mother mother uh, she mother earth she has green fingers she also stands for nurturing um, growth blossoming and harvesting if you <coughs> return what you take then you can keep on harvesting but give it time to grow so respect your environment be more nurturing nurturing whether you're a woman or a man for people around you especially now in this time the cards are coming up one after another be more social stand together be more nurturing love and take care especially now that we are locked down and your question to your answer will you marry will you get together have I got a choice a definite yes you always have a choice you have a choice to carry on or you have a choice to <coughs> Uh, walk away you have a uh, you have a choice uh, to be uh, um, an, you use the ostrich technique you can stick your head in the sand or you can do and take action well we are in an action period so my advice is respect your environment and if you can help anybody that's alone um, like if you're going out to do shopping then do somebody else's shopping if you need to look uh, after somebody's garden then help them to uh, in the garden because we need more help especially now you do have a lot of green around you you've got the house in the garden you've got the bunch of flowers you've got the the, the fish also environment and the cosmos and the sun so enjoy the environment it's also beneficial to your health be engaged in the now be aware of what is going around you thinking about where you have been or what you did wrong in the past are impediments to an inspired life when you are inspired you are totally engaged in the now in an infinite never beginning and never ending universe there is no past so be engaged and be aware of what you can do for yourself and for others learn from the past live in the now and focus on what is happening around you and not just in front of you 
Okay, Leo, I hope you have enjoyed this reading and please like and share. Uh, thank you very much if for doing that and give us the thumbs up. Love and light and stay healthy and strong and I hope to see you in the live sessions. And until Monday night then and if not un in until the next video. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.